welcome back so now finally we're gonna go and see the versioning versioning if you uh, if you have worked on a Microsoft Office document especially in office the uh, like later by the 2016 or later on or uh, office 365 uh, with each editing and especially when different people are working or somebody is uh, yeah, proposing some changes uh, there are versions that you can go through and you can click and see uh, with each version uh, What's been changed if you're not familiar with that? Uh, don't worry. I can explain it. So basically uh, I can I can give you a demo demo as well so basically what happens is that uh, for example you uh, there was a web page that was announcing uh, Christmas and now on Christmas Eve Christmas has passed they have to change that web page website uh, to uh, what's coming for the uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve is like six good six days away and on the New Year's Eve they want that website web page to revert back to the original web page that was before the Christmas so you see there should they will be there are going to be three websites or oh, sorry three web pages now version one is going to be the regular web page version two is going to be the web page that was designed tweaked put uh, like a christmas decoration here and there to represent uh, christmas and then there will be a third web page exact same page but it has that de different decoration uh with the rather than 2020 it will say 2021 and it will show some fireworks on something nothing uh, that like green and red from the christmas it will be something like flashy for the new year's so that is the versioning i, I can show you here if you remember in my bucket uh the, that's the version we will come back here later I have an index page now I need to have two right or three so that's how versioning works if I go to properties where, where, where it, hmm, I think I lost it right static website hosting and overview bucket version right here I'm gonna add it right now it's suspended or disabled uh, we gonna turn it on enable so it's saying something here so notice that the uh, this uh, page uh, sorry this uh, kind of the uh, message it's saying after enabling bucket versioning you might need to update your lifecycle rules to manage previous versions of object and we 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 not really uh, concerned about that we're gonna simply save change it now successfully edited bucket versioning meaning from now on it will keep a version of our files Pre previously if we ha when we had it disabled if we were to go and upload something new it will simply replace it same with the same name now hopefully with this I will be able to show you that it's going to keep a version of it so let's get starting on that I'm gonna go open the AWS folder that I keep forgetting where it is right there okay so let's go in here index.html we're gonna I'm gonna add this index index HTML and you can see version 1. Point, it's giving me uh, no that's actually <laughs> giving me uh, the uh, preview I'm gonna make it version 2 marry not marry you can't marry Chris mess you can't <laughs> Merry Christmas okay so let's save it and I'm gonna go to my management I'm gonna go to object upload let's add file index.html open and upload it no error message I got one file uploaded and here it is if I go back to my bucket and I see I click on this um, this uh, button here it turned green from gray and you can see I have a I have two index files in my folder 
if you remember from the previous screen that the uh, confirmation that the file was uploaded it said 138 bytes so this one is the newer one there is another giveaway that is the version id the first file has null the second file has a version id of uh, this let's uh, upload uh, added the same file and upload it again We're going to call it version 3 and we're going to call it happy new year we're going to save it and s3 management we're going to go to upload add files it's exact same file you can see what's it saying there in the preview pane and upload Again, we see now we have 137 bytes. Let's go to files and folders uh, into my bucket. And if I turn the versioning again, you can see I have now three HTML files, the newest being the topmost. And if I were to go and click on that, my properties. Uh, so I should have copied it earlier, but that's my bucket URL. You can see Happy New Year. It's taking the newest one. The newest file that I uploaded, it's taking that. Now I have two ways of managing my website based on how you want to do it. Either I can go and delete it in my inside my. Um, that's open, right? Yes. Oh, it was already open. So this was the original one, right? And this is the third version. If I were to re refresh it, you see it changed to third one. Now I'm gonna go here and to my bucket objects I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna delete it and see what happens can be undone permanently delete what was that and delete it's deleted now let's see what happens if I if I refresh it it has been reverted back to the previous version now there is another way uh, for some people uh, like uh, they can do a different thing the, uh, I'm not sure if there's a uh, way of renaming it like uh, this file edit tags make public no so I guess there is no way of renaming it uh, rename object right there but it's been grayed out is it available for here nope that's interesting okay let's click here from the object action rename object so if I were to go and make it index one dot HTML now I have to two ways of doing it I can either come back come here make the index file that we know is no is for uh, my Christmas uh, for, uh, index I can rename it to something else so uh, it will automatically re go back to looking for index.html that is going to be the first version or there is another way if you remember that is go to the bucket properties static website hosting and you can put the index name like uh, for example if I had put the this file as index Christmas all I have to do was put this name in here index Christmas and it will automatically take it so you get the idea how this and the versioning works if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one